Hello and welcome back to JBCTR. So for those of you who watched my GoPro London video, you would have heard that I had a few issues editing in 4K on a pretty normal Mac. So I did find a way of how to do it and I just wanted to share it with you. So here we are. Here is how to use proxies in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay. So here you join me inside my computer. Firstly, we'll need to open Premiere Pro. Whilst that's loading up, now is a good time to make sure you know exactly where your files are within your file structure, as this will make life easier later on. I've placed mine up here on the desktop. So once Premiere Pro has opened, click on New Project, give it a name, and before hitting Save, go to the Ingest Settings. Select the tick box next to Ingest, and use the drop down to hit Create Proxies. The preset dropdown will allow you to select the resolution of the clips that you wish to edit in. If there is a specific resolution you wish to use, you can add a custom resolution. But for me, H.264 at 720p is perfect. Now, to import your clips, you cannot click and drag from Finder or Windows Explorer as this won't work. You'll need to use the built-in importer. So go to Assembly and navigate your files in the media browser. This is why it's important to know exactly where your files are within your file structure. Select your clips, right click and hit import. This will automatically open Adobe Media Encoder, which will scale down your clips to the resolution you selected earlier. This can be left to process in the background, but if you have a slower machine like I do here, I find it much easier to let it complete before I begin editing. Now, once your clips are being processed and they finish being processed, they will be stored in the same area that your Premiere Pro files are stored. So be sure to make sure you have enough space there. And once you've completed your editing, make sure you delete those files as well, because they will fill up your hard drive very fast if you continue to edit in 4K using this method. Now, you can pull your clips into your timeline from your project clips area and this will be your lower resolution proxy clips. As you're using proxies, you will need to show the toggle proxies icon to allow you to switch between your low resolution clips and your high resolution clips. This can be useful at times, for example, when doing color correction. Simply go to this little plus symbol here and click and drag this icon that looks a little bit like a Windows logo into the icon dock. You can use this icon to switch between clips anytime you like, but remember, Editing in high res will be much more resource intensive on your machine. If I zoom in on my clip here and switch between proxies, hopefully you at home can see a difference in resolution. And there you have it. So that is how you edit 4K footage on a machine that is not necessarily designed to do so. Thanks for watching. I hope this tip comes in handy. Please check out my other videos and if you like what you see, click subscribe. Cheers!